All right. If we can have one plate, why not have two? Let's say that we have one positively charged plate and one negatively charged plate. Now, I'm feeling a little wild today, so I'm going to use blue to illustrate my negatively charged plate. You will see why shortly. Now, our goal here, oh, by the way, parallel plate capacitor That's where we're headed. We're not there yet, but it's two ah, plates that are parallel that you can store charge on. And then, for example, give off a flash and camera. Okay, so we have one positively charged, one negatively charged. We are trying to figure out the electric field everywhere around these various plates. We've already figured out the magnitude of it. It is equal to the surface charge density divided by 2 E naught for a single plate. So let's just look, for example, at the positive plate. We know the electric field from the positive plate uh, located between the two class plates point in the direction for the electric field right here due to the positive plate. It's going to be to the right. So this is the electric field due to the positive plate. This, it's also going to be in the same direction over here. What about the electric field from the positive plate on this side of the positive plate? Please point. It's going to be to your left. These are all electric fields. Now we're going to do the electric field for the negative plate. The electric field for the negative plate to the right of the negative plate. Please point in the direction of the electric field. Remember, it's a positive charge. If you put a positive charge here, it's going to be attracted to the negative plate. So that is going to be the electric field for due to the negatively charged plate. What about the electric field between the two? Please point in the direction of the electric field due to the negative charge. Right. Again. It's going to be toward the plate. And here, it's also going to be toward the plate. So, the electric field outside of the two parallel plates adds up to what, class? Zero. Notice, they cancel out outside of the electric plates. But between the two electric plates, yes, sir? If, uh, wouldn't you be closer to one of the two plates and one of them be slightly stronger than the other? If you say you're on the right, would you? Remember, the distance from the infinitely large charged plate is irrelevant, right? Now, realistically, they're not infinitely charged plates. However, when you're talking about an instance where we're going to be talking about the size of the plate is very, very large compared to the distance between the two plates. Because the truth of the matter is the closer the two plates are together, the better it is as far as capacitance is concerned. So yes, in a real world, world scenario where you're talking about like giant plates, right? Sure. But realistically, we're going to be talking about rather small plates with a very, very small distance between the two of them. So in this particular case, no. So now we know that the electric field between the two is going to be just the addition of these two, which is going to be two times the surface charge density divided by two E naught. In other words, the electric field between the two plates is equal to the surface charge density divided by E 